Hey everyone, welcome back to the Omarcha video series. Today I'm going to show you how to instantly create a full blown Ubuntu server inside your Omarchi setup. So for this one we'll be using Multipass which is a lightweight virtual machine manager for Linux that runs on top of QMO. Um, so as you can see the Multipass is available for Linux, Windows and Mac OS so this is not only specific to Linux so this can be on uh, this works the same on Windows and Mac using the native virtualization that each of the operating supports. And especially this comes handy whether you are developers writing code or DevOps engineers testing infrastructure. So to install this uh, we need to install Snap first and from there we'll install Multipass. So let's get started. So if you don't have Snap installed yet. Um, you can install it very quickly in Omarchi. Just hit uh, super alt space to go to the unified menu system and then go to install, go to AUR and then you should see snap D. So just press enter and then um, install snapd first which is a prerequisite to install multipass yeah and once done press edit to close this window and you should have snap install so once you have snap installed you can run sudo snap install multipass install multipass itself so this will install the multipass cli the uh, virtualization QMO and all of the stuff that needs to run a virtual machine. So once you have Multipass installed, uh, you can just type Multipass and it will show you a help screen. And you can quickly launch a Ubuntu virtual machine with the latest um, LTS by just writing two commands, which is Multipass and launch. So this will create first a a uh, random name for a virtual machine and it will download the latest Ubuntu um, LTS image which is um, 24.04 um, and it will boot that up. So obviously I have already downloaded the um, image so it just uh, goes ahead and did the initial initialization but um, if you're, if you're running this for the first time it will download the image first and it will take a couple of minutes um, and um, yeah so it says launched uh, exceeding jackrabbit is the VM name so now um, you can use a virtual machine via interactive shell which is also might be um, SSH that you're familiar with so multipath shell and the name of the virtual machine so which is the exceeding zack rabbit and you will be dropped into the um, ubuntu server and this is the real um, server um, and yeah you can do all of the um, ubuntu server stuff um, normally and um, yeah um you can also go ahead and list out all of your virtual machine that's running through multipass you can see the name the state the ip address and the image that it's running on which is 24.04 i have others which i'm running it for my local kubernetes setup running older version as well and uh, and also what's uh, interesting is you can go ahead and run a add up command to any of these machines without having to go through interactive shell by doing exec and then name of the um, machine and then command like in this case I can run like um, let's post right so it'll just run the command um, directly and um, and yeah, um, obviously when launching a um, VM, you can uh, pass on the name. So you can see server, uh, my server, 
and you can pass it how many CPU cores you want and you can also go ahead and give a specific amount of memory and then obviously you can go ahead and uh, pass on the the uh, code of the Ubuntu release that you want and this will do the same thing at multipass launch but launch it on the name that you give and with the VM spec that you want and yeah this will take a couple of uh, minutes as well um, and it will do the initialization but this is pretty fast um, so so if you're familiar with um, virtual machine and so on it gives you like a full board um, desktop but um, but this is a very quick one um, to get a Ubuntu server up and running. So so yeah, you can do a Ubuntu uh, sorry a multipass list again, and um, and once you're done, you can go ahead and delete the um, the virtual machine with delete. Um, you can pass in pers to also delete all of the data that associate with that VM and uh and yeah you can hit my and then in a tab as well like this and um it will go ahead and delete that and yeah that's it um so if you found this useful don't forget to like subscribe and check out the rest of the omar key playlist that i have um for you guys so thank you very much and see you in the next videos